YouTube, what's going on? I'm out here about to clear two pots out and do a little fall planting. One of my planting today is one of my favorites. Some red mustard greens. Got this idea from um, actually Lead Farmer 73. And I saw how huge his mustard greens were. They looked like elephant ears. Now, I can never grow mine to that size. Maybe because I don't know which area I'm in. Zone 7. I don't know. That shouldn't matter too much. But that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to plant some red mustard greens. And I'm going to put it in this bucket. One good thing is, I don't have to worry about the groundhog because it's fall and I think that little dude is asleep. Squirrels don't like it. Rabbits. Hmm. Do rabbits sleep? I don't think rabbits hibernate. Not sure. But I don't recall ever seeing rabbits on this property in, in the fall or winter. I could be wrong. But hopefully it's time for them to go night night. So I don't have to worry about some little critters. And like I said before, they don't bother me as much as a groundhog. Because that groundhog eats everything that has that looks like a leaf. Thought about getting rid of the groundhog, setting a trap, which I did purchase, and it's one of those have a heart traps, so it's a catch and release. And just on some reading, it said that if you do catch a groundhog and you wanna remove them off your property, you gotta at least put them 20 miles away. And all I keep thinking about, those little legs, can do 20 miles and <laughs> he deserves to come back here and eat for free but yeah so that was my idea I don't know if I am going to stick to it or if I'm just going to get higher garden beds or fence in this area over here they can climb from what I've seen on my tables but a gate not sure i seen where some guys put like a low electric gate so it's nothing to kill an animal but it it lets them know that nah you don't want to come over here it's not worth it but it doesn't hurt them it just i guess it just startles them and teaches them don't go over this part of the yard stay over there and where the grass is so those are my two thoughts. I did see some garden beds that were hmm, roughly 36 to 48 inches high. And the good part about that, that raised bed is I don't have to bend over as much because my other garden beds are 12 inches. And that's a lot of bending or kneeling if you got a kneeler. And that's, that gets old real fast. Alright, so this is the bed that I'm going to use and I may even use some of these pots right here that grew weeds instead of vegetables. Alright, I'll put it up here so it'll be easy to get to. day seeds I lost a few because there was a hole in the bottom not happy about that but I'm gonna make it work now in order to make these leaves large 
I saw when Laird was putting fish emulsion. And I do use that, but never on this, this scale. I use it in buckets, but never like this. Oh, and I'm sorry, he didn't use fish emulsion. He used banana water. And I have plenty of that. So, I'm going to go ahead and use all these seeds right here. For those who want to grow, but are kind of nervous, or they don't think they're going to do a good job, Stop worrying about that and just try it. See how simple that was? And to be honest, this time of year, the weather usually waters it for you. Now this says 21 days. It's October. We should see something by November. Now, once I start seeing green, that's when I start using the banana water. Trust me, in the winter, I'm not coming out here that much. I, those that know me know I do not like the cold weather. As a kid, I did. I used to love it. Playing out in the snow, making tunnels and igloos, sledding, whatever. Just, you know, as kids my age, we used to stay outside. We didn't have video games. Or, well, we started getting video games in the 70s, but it was more, more or less about being outside didn't matter the weather <laughs> we were outside running around playing tag hide and go seek playing in the creek trying to catch animals playing in dirt playing in puddles kid stuff riding bicycles skateboards just not sitting in the house of course we didn't have computers we didn't have internet we actually have we actually have books yeah computers was not even really a thing except for you can find them in certain government agencies and they were huge looking like refrigerators okay that's all I'm gonna do today here's some collards I grew I started actually started these last month brassica cold weather here's some red mustard greens over here competing with some clovers uh, what else do I have I have some carrots that I have to separate out further apart but they're looking good I'm gonna move those around so they don't they won't crowd. And let's see what else do I have. I have lettuce coming up, more kale, red mustard greens, lettuce, carrots in a bunch that need to be separated. Lettuce here, that is not edible, at least to humans, it's not edible. Have a pepper tree that's still kicking. This is actually one of the ones that I purchased because I can never find the seeds for this one. Super chili red pepper. And it's still flowering. This is going in the house because it's not a brastica. It will, it will suffer and die out here. This same thing. This is going in the house or maybe send it to my mom's greenhouse. Since my greenhouse doesn't look like it's going to get built 
yeah. Sad face emoji. Maybe, maybe next year. But looks like I'm be out to do it myself. And with my work schedule, I don't see how that's going to happen. But we're going to try to make it work. All right, signing off for today.